before we move on off of state government, Jason, I want to ask you a little bit about the, this is some local fallout from the, the, the so-called Trump care debate in Washington, the replacement for Obamacare. And there was this provision that Scott Walker initially said, yeah, I'd be open to it on, on um, pre-existing conditions and then quickly backed down. Can you give our viewers a quick summation of where, where that issue stands? Because I know it's a, of concern to a lot of people. Yeah, and this will give me uh, a little bit of a chance to preview my, my winner of the week. But I think, you know, really on Friday, uh, an unexpected uh, winner, and, and it's certainly by no means decided, but was people with pre existing conditions. You know, there was some talk, and there still will be talk, of uh, reducing protections uh, in current law for people with pre existing conditions as they go out to buy health insurance. The governor seemed to, on Friday morning, show some openness to undoing that at the state level if Congress gives us the power to do that. But you know, one thing that we were struck by when we put up that story was what a big reaction it got for something that is, you know, it's a pretty technical issue within the healthcare system, but it's but it's also something that really can speak very powerful to people who are in that position where they have you know a heart condition or they have uh diabetes or something like that and within you know hours walker came back and and said look that that's not what i meant i was you know my my remarks were taken out of context and, and backpedaled pretty quickly you know from that position that he had seemed to take earlier in the day